Hey there everyone, this is uh, DZ Maven. Guess what, it's time for another Tumblr review, unscripted. Today I'm taking a look at another old kit. This is the RGM 79G, Ground GM. This is from the 08th MS team. This is the ground combat version of the gym. I'd say a fairly early, early version of the uh, gym. This came out in July of 2001, which almost makes it 20 years old by the time I make this review. And it retails for a nice master grade price of 3,000 yen. Which is rather inexpensive when you think about it today. So, anyway. Let's uh, switch over to the photos here. So, box art. Pretty nice box art. It's a standard size master grade uh, box here, so it's pretty average here. So this thing comes with a lot of accessories. So if you like a master grade with lots of extras, this is a good choice. Not too much of an internal frame. There is internal frame in the arms and legs. Not so much on the torso. Nothing in the head from what I recall here. Uh, this is old style, by the way. You do get the little cardboard insert with the front of the uh, suit inside the box, so that's what this is. And manual is the old style Master Grade manual here, which I still kind of like the uh, classic looks. I'm I'm surprised Bandai kept it up for so long before they finally started changing it up. Uh, inside the book, inside the uh, booklet, you do get some line art of the gym, uh, the runner layout here. This kit does does need a, you do require a screwdriver for this kit because it does have screws in it. Uh, some layout and we'll get into the actual construction of the kit here. So a lot of this is just going to be a rehash of the stuff I kind of talked about on my RX-79 Ground Gundam review because this is pretty much just a remold of that kit. So you can kind of look up my old review of that kit and most of it. Pretty much everything I talked about in that kit still applies to this guy here because it's 90% the same kit. So, only real difference is that you get some the, the parts uh, unique to the gym as well as the uh, different assortment of uh, weapons with this kit here. So, here's the inside documentary photographs here, just showing off some poses and what comes with the kit here and your painting guide. Construction in the kit, it's not too difficult. It's pretty average, I would say. The only thing you really gotta be careful about, from what I recall, are the screws and the joints. You wanna be careful not to over-tighten those, otherwise the joints will become very difficult to move. And once you have the armor on, it gets kinda hard to adjust that again, so... Uh, do uh, keep that in mind here, but... Like I mentioned before, this thing comes with a lot of accessories and options, so if you like that sort of thing, this is a really good kit to have. Uh, just like with the RX-79G, which came with a lot of, a lot of accessories as well here. And it probably goes without saying here, um, if you have the RX-79 Ground Gundam or the EZ-8 Master Grade, the accessories in those kit can be swapped between, the, between all three kits here. And I would also probably extend that also to the fourth version, which is the, the Green Gym Sniper. Which is basically just the green version of this kit with the, uh, snipe, with the Beam Sniper Rifle, which you do get with this kit, by the way. But yeah, I think the only di real difference is that, that the green one comes with a external power generator, from what I recall, so... Other than that, that's really the only difference I can recall off the top of my head here. So, uh, here is the finished kit all put together. Now this kit I did actually paint. It's probably hard to tell in the uh, pictures here, but... This was uh, hand painted way back in the day here, so... That's why it kind of looks like this. A little bit of light weathering I did on the, uh, the gray internal frame. But... I did do an actual paint wash on this kit here, back in the day when I used to uh, do that sort of thing here. But anyway, it comes with uh, main colors, basically this beige color, and you have this orange color for the uh, torso here. Uh, visor, I don't remember if that comes in color, colored plastic or not. I think it actually might be colored plastic here, it looks like it is on the kit here. Uh, but you do get some stickers, I believe, for the head camera sensors. The kit comes with uh, typical sticker markings and dry transfers, so 
uh, and a various assortment of numbers. So choose whatever you want with this kit. Articulation is okay. It's average for a master grade. It's nothing I would really write home about, but I. But again, I think this is probably something I mentioned with the uh, ground Gundam. This was a bit above average for the time it came out, because mainly the big gimmick with the uh, ground Gundam master grade was that it could do the crouch pose pretty well. Pretty well, I would say, in this case, but just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, cup and hatch opens up on the front like so, with a little extension... I forget the actual name of this thing, it's like a little extension rope ladder thing that sticks out right there. Here's a basic shield and machine gun. There's some poses with the weapons here. I mentioned this before again with the ground gun and the hands on this thing are not particularly good at holding things, so just kind of keep that in mind. Here's the uh, beam rifle. Painted up not very well, but it, 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 it's passable. Some more posing with the shield and machine gun. Just to kind of show you how it actually holds the shield by the hand handle right here. Just to kind of show you, show that off here. It does come with the ground gun and backpack as well as the container. Uh, container in this case is mainly going to be used to hold the missile launcher that comes with this kit. So you can swap it out as you like. That's the missile launcher inside the box there. And here are the actual individual components for it. I left one of the missiles out just so just you can see what it looks like here. But you assemble it and it becomes this here, so. So it's actually pretty easy to pose with. And here's that gargantuan beam sniper rifle this kit comes with here. I actually really like this thing, even though it is kind of bulky and a little hard to pose with, but I think it looks pretty cool. And one thing I will note, this kit comes with a... This piece inside the scope here, this is an actual clear uh, plastic bulb sticker. I'm not really quite sure how to describe it. Um, it's a, it's If you built the Master Grade Shining Gundam, it's the same thing used for the center, center chest sensor. It's the same sort of thing. It's just sticks inside the uh, scope right there. You do get a custom hand to actually hold this here. I'll show that off when I get to the live view here. Uh, here is showing off the beam saber. Beam savers come out the side of the leg. It's a little bit tricky to tricky thing to open up, but that's where the beam savers are stored. And just some posing with the uh, beam saber here, just kind of show you what you can do here. And here is the accessories. There's lots of accessories here. I'm actually missing one of the closed fists here, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what comes with this kit here. So. Lots of goodies. Lots and lots of goodies. So if you like goodies in your kit, this is a good kit for goodies here. Alright, so here is the light view here. Let's go over the uh, base kit here, a bit in general here. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good looking kit. I, I have said this before about the Ground Gundam 2. I think these are, despite being older master grades, I think these things look great out of the box. Even if you d decide not to paint them or anything, but... Of course, if you paint them up, they will look quite a bit better. Um, the joints on this thing have gotten kind of loose over time. The knees, especially on my version here, have gotten a little loose over time. but And, and in the hips here too. But again, your mileage will probably vary depending on what you do with the kit. I do recall the screw joints are kind of in the elbows and shoulders. I don't know about the knee or the ankle. But that is where I recall the actual screws are used. So... Uh, don't over tighten these things, otherwise your arms get like way too stiff and you won't be able to pose with this kit very well. But that's my only word of caution, so make sure you include a screwdriver with this kit. It's not included, just make sure you have one on hand, because you will, you will need that here. Head articulation. Okay, just going to go over articulation here real quick here. I'm not going to go into super detailed about it, but there's your arm bin. I have noticed with the arm bin on this thing that... Sometimes this piece will separate down here, but again, it's just something with an old kit you gotta kind of gotta pay attention to here. Force articulation. There's not really a whole lot going on here. I'll move back and forth a bit. The hips here. Now there is adjustable hip joint inside of here. This is one of the kind of looser joints in here, but it'll go back and forth, kind of like so. Show you that here, and just to kind of swing the leg all the way forward like that. 
and here's the leg pin, like so. And the ankle here won't really bend back all that much or forward all that much. It's not a whole lot in the ankle there. Side to side, it's it, it's okay. There's a little bit of uh, piston action kind of going on inside the uh, front here. Kind of see it there. But, uh, cop attached just kind of open up again. Just showed you very easy to open up. And that old piece right there. So it's a little figurine. This is actually the Shiro Amada fig figurine inside of here. So you don't get one that's actually custom made for the gym here. So you're just gonna have to pretend that's uh, somebody else here. On the back here, the uh, gym ground backpack here. Uh, these little thruster things will move, but I have found a lot of times when you're handling this thing, you will, you will always end up pressing these things down like that. <laughs> and that just looks... And you gotta straighten these out again. It's like, this is the only really part of the kit that really kind of annoys me here, especially when I'm posing and you're handling it and you're not gonna realize you push these things back like that. And just, Clearly that does not look right when that happens, so you gotta, you gotta remember to fix that here. Anyway, that's the base kit here, so let's get on to the accessories here, because there's a ton of stuff here to go over here, so. Alright, so you get the standard machine gun. It's stock. The, um, this thing will come out like that. Turn the handle, like so, and you can actually switch out the uh, machine gun magazines. There's two extras on the side of the uh, side skirts here on the kit. So, beam rifle. These Simple beam rifle, movable handle. That's it. It's really nothing much to uh, say about this here. The ground shield, pretty nice looking shield. Uh, two ways you can attach it to the arm. This little peg hole right here. You'll just stay on like that. Or if you want to hold it by the hand, you have to plan to flip this out here and flip this around. So that's like this. You have this little tiny little handle piece sticking out here, and then. I'm actually just going to pull the hand off here, and then just kind of wedge this onto the hand like so, and then it can hand hold the shield like so. so. I have mentioned this before back in the Seven Nine. I mentioned it kind of a moment ago. These hands, these are the bane of my existence here. I hate these things. So, if you have the option to find some third-party fixed pose hands for, the, for these old Master Grade kits, by all means, please get those, because these things stink. They really do. I feel like I cannot say that enough. So, Anyway, uh, beam savers. I have them out, out of these things, so it's just easier, easier for me to keep these out. Beam saver blades, beam savers. So nothing really much to say about those. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the uh, beam rifle here. This thing is really nice. I like this thing. So, uh, This is the same beam rifle you get with the gym, the green version of this, the gym sniper here. There's that nice little scope again. That's just a little big, fat, clear sticker thing that kind of goes in there here. Uh, I think this is the E-Pack for this. You can kind of just take that out if you want. And also the scope will, uh, you can actually adjust the scope and take it out a little bit. I think it's just meant to kind of go up a little bit like that. We'll push it down. The little support grip right here comes out. Yeah. Um... But the hands, yeah, there's two uh, closest hands and two open hands that come with this kit. This is the unique special hand that kind of comes with this. That's mainly just for holding this beam sniper rifle. I have to kind of carefully take that apart and then stick it around on this here. And that's used for holding the sniper rifle. Take this hand off. And then put that on there so you can have it held like that at a little bit of an angle here so definitely makes it easier to pose with if you have it like that that off uh as i mentioned you get the backpack from the rx 79g this is mainly for attaching the uh, container here on the back you just gotta swap it out with the backpack here it's that just comes off and you can just plug this in so use whatever optional backpack you want whatever whatever works for you i just like to leave the regular gym backpack on here Now the missile pack, it comes in here. You can get this open here. Like so. Now I'm lucky I showed you this thing in the photos here because when I try to take this thing back apart again, 
Uh, this piece broke on me, so... <laughs> so yeah, this little piece here broke on me. So this actually kind of holds the whole thing together, and unfortunately this broke on me, so... <laughs> I can't really reassemble the missile launcher now with this piece here, because... I tried to try and take this off of the... of this piece here, and it just kind of snapped. So... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. But anyway, this thing is pretty simple transformation. This is the handle kind of center piece here. And the missile pieces will missile parts, the pods themselves will actually go on here. This piece is supposed to kind of go right. This thing here is supposed to go right here and plug into the little holes to hold it together. But yeah, so that's not gonna be happening again anytime soon, so. Uh, this thing over here, this is just a leftover piece. This is from the ground gundam in case you want to stick the the long rifle cannon in here for some reason, but you can't really use this with uh, these parts here, so don't bother with that. Um, oh yeah, and here's the missile. The missiles are actually inside of here. You can probably hear that a little bit here. They're inside here. I left one of them out just to kind of see what it looks like here. So. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of, uh, kind of good for the ground gym. I think it's still a good looking kit. It, it, it's it's old. It, it has its issues still, but I think it still looks good. And if you want to do some professional work on this and paint it up and make it look good and everything, there's a lot you can still do with this kit here. And as I mentioned, if you have the Ground Gundam or the EZ-8 Master Grades, you can kind of swap the weapons around on these kits here if you want and just make up your own combination here. Or if you have the Ground Gundam, you can always uh, take the head off and uh, put the uh, Gundam head on here and have a Gundam head gym. You know, like that one from the show. Yeah. That hand fell off while I was doing this here. I was like, I cannot stress, em stress enough how much I really despise the hands on this thing. <laughs> it's like, this is the one thing about these, the Ground gun, the Master Grade line that I just I don't like these hands. The problem is, is that the polycap is so shallow in here and this joint is so shallow. So it barely stays in there. It doesn't take much to make this pop out. Just, anyway, I should stop before I start ranting here. Anyway, uh, for 3,000 yen, it's not a bad buy, and I'm sure a lot of people do like this kit here, and I... This is one of those kits that I really wish Bandai would make a 2.0 of at some point, maybe? Please make a 2.0 of this, then we can have 2.0s of the Ground Gundam, 2.0s of the Ground Gem, 2.0s of the Easy 8 or we could have like a real grade version. I'd be happy, happy with a real grade version of uh, these guys too, but I don't think that that's a priority for Bandai nowadays. So anyway, that's it for this. I hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye. This is a really nice weapon. I like this here. I have posed this on my uh, Gym Sniper uh, 2 before. You can actually put this on that kit if you want. If you just want something different. I know the uh, White Dingo P Bandai version comes with this too, so. If you want one of these without buying the uh, P Bandai version, get this kit and get the Gym Sniper Custom, uh, not, uh, Gym Sniper 2 kit. Yeah, that's right. You understand what I mean. Okay, anyway, I'm done. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.